Boris Godunov was the Russian ruler who reigned as Tsar during the Time of Troubles. The opera Boris Godunov shines light on the tragic life of once the most powerful man in Russia, delving into the loneliness he endured as a man and the fate he embraced as an emperor. The opera Boris Godunov is about the life of Russian Tsar Boris Godunov in the late 16th century. In its grandiose and magnificent plot, the opera reflects the deep sadness and sorrow of the Russian public at the time. Boris uh, is a picture of uh, an old world, but uh, an example for our life too. So for the contemporaneity, the opera offers the possibility to find yourself. And in this case, Boris is like uh, an example. Tsar Ivan IV dies and his feeble son Fyodor succeeds him, but leaves the state affairs to Boris Godunov. Ivan's other son, Dmitri, dies under mysterious circumstances, and rumors linking Boris to the death of Dmitri are circulating. The Russian opera mesmerizes the audience with the extraordinary performance of actors singing in Russian. The Russian opera is very special music, special sound. It's very difficult for chorus, especially our opera now, because the chorus as a people of Russia, it's a second main personage here it's why for chorus it's enormous work and I must say they work very, very hard. After the death of Fyodor, Boris accepts the throne and becomes Tsar himself, but he is constantly haunted by the ghost of Dmitri. Some years later, a young monk appears out of nowhere and pretends to be the murdered son of Ivan. In the meantime, Princess Marina wants to be the wife of the Tsar.
디미트리는 보리스의 가슴 속에 있는 어, 뇌관 같은 거랄까요? 디미트리가 살아나서 자기를 무찌르고 왕이 되기 위해서 러시아로 다가온다고 하니까 또 보리스는 더욱 더 압박감을 느끼게 되죠. 제 생각에는 보리스가 죽게 되는데 크게 일조를 하지 않았나 생각합니다. 이스포르탄다이치포데오디엔스투시트룩노트아트마이워크바트아데스토리오프데소울오프이치완베리임포르탄모멘트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타트비스타